Hey, boys and girls, guess what we're going to make today? We're going to be using all of these fun lines that we learned and worked with last week, and we're going to make a castle. And this castle will be using some of the same lines that we used last week. Isn't that cool? And we're going to be using some shapes. So what we're going to start out with is going to be a black crayon. So that's why you were only given a black crayon to start out with. I personally like these big fat black crayons because they're pretty fabulous. All right, so everybody's got a piece of paper. Now, the way that we're going to start out our castle, we're going to be near the bottom. Now, just watch. I'm going to make a horizontal line near the bottom. Did I touch either one of the sides? No, I didn't. Okay, so take your black crayon. Let's not at the bottom. Move up just a little bit. Put your crayon down, and let's pull a horizontal line across our paper, but do not touch the sides. So this is the, the bottom of our castle. All right, now you ready for your next line? Watch this. We're going to make a vertical line. So I'm going to take my black crayon, just watch, and I'm going to draw it nice and tall. Did I go all the way to the top? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's put your crayon down here at the bottom on our black line, and let's draw a vertical line. Vertical. That means it goes up. Horizontal and vertical. All right, let's go over to this side and see, um, let's make the same kind of line. We're going to draw it nice and tall, make a vertical line right there, just like we made the other side. Now this is for our outside walls, the two sides of our castle. All right, now watch this. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to make it look like I've made a big rectangle. These are going to be the towers of our castle. So just watch. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to bring it over and down to my line. Let's try this. So what did I do? I started up here at the top on my black line. I drew a line, short line, horizontal line over and then brought a vertical line all the way down to our bottom line. What shape is that? It is a rectangle. Good job. All right. Now let's go over to this side. So over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy. So watch again. I'm going to put my black crayon down. I'm going to draw a short line, horizontal line over, and then I'm going to bring it down to our bottom line. So I make another what shape? A rectangle. Okay. Now remember, you can pause this at any time if I'm going too fast. All right, so now we've got two our two towers. We need something that goes up here at the top. We're going to make it look like a triangle. A triangle has three sides, but it's made of two diagonal lines. So watch up here. So I'm going to take my black crayon, and I'm going to slant a line up, and go to this corner and slant a line up so they touch, and it makes a triangle. I did a little uh-oh up there, but that's okay. Now, when you finish this one, we're going to do the same thing over on this tower with a diagonal line. I'm going to slant it, go diagonal up, and let's make this one go from that corner to that one. Cool! So now we've made our two towers to our castle. Awesome job! All right, so now, watch up here. I'm going to do another horizontal line connecting our two towers together. So I'm going to start right here and draw a horizontal line across. Now so far we've used horizontal lines, vertical lines, diagonal lines. 
Okay, let's do another line right here. A double line. You know what we need? We need a door on our castle. So what we can do for a castle door, I'm going to go draw it up and round over. That's a curved line. And bring it down. You make your door. What kind of door do you want? It's got to be kind of big on your castle. Now we also, so we're using some shapes too, aren't we? We're also going to use, we need some windows. Windows. So let's make a window. What kind of shape do you want for the windows on your towers? Do you want rectangles? Do you want ovals? Do you want squares? Do you want triangles? You decide. You know, it'd be cool. What if we have some more towers on our castle? I like towers, don't you? So, you ready to make some more towers like these? Except they're going to be shorter because they're far away. So, watch. I'm going to draw up over and back down again. You want to try that out? Let's go up from right here. Let's draw a vertical line up, a short horizontal line over, and a vertical line down. You want to put another one over here? So let's see, a vertical line up, a horizontal line over and a vertical line down. Now let's put a little top on top of our little towers that are far away. That's why they're smaller. So I'm going to do diagonal line, diagonal line, diagonal line, diagonal line. Now do you want to put windows in that one too? You can make your windows, windows. How's that? Ooh, what about flags and pennants on the tops of our towers? I'm going to put little ones. There's some little vertical lines. And we can make two more diagonal lines for the flags on top of our castle. Can you make flags on top of your castle? Awesome. Now, we could pretend that this is part of our wall. We could make, it looks like it's the battlements on top of our castle here. We saw this sometimes, I think like when I said last week, like pumpkin teeth. It's where your archers can hide behind. If you want to make something like that, if you're like, I don't want to do that, then you don't make those. Now, if you want to do something else on your door, maybe I want to make a, I'm going to make another frown inside there, another curved line. You can make your door however you want to. If you want to put lines across your door, You can do that. Now, I want you to put your crayon down and just look up here for a second. Because the next thing we want to do, we did all of this in black. You know what we need to do? We need to turn our paper over to the back side and write our name. Let's do that first. Can you write your name on the back of your paper? Write your name on the back of your paper. And since this is Shaw Kindergarten, we're going to put a SK for Shaw Kindergarten. Get your name on the back of your paper. All right, now here's where some fun comes in. So last week, we did all these fun, cool lines. Horizontal, thin, thick, diagonal dash lines, vertical lines, wavy lines. I like the fact that they remind me of smiles and my bunny hop lines remind me of frowns. 
We've got zigzag lines, dotted lines, curly lines, ooh, spirals. Oh, there's that dental work one. That's kind of neat. And the X's that connect, or the wandering line. Now, the reason I showed you those again is because what we want to do, we can take different colored crayons. Now, we're going to paint this next week. Oh, I know. Isn't this so great? Okay, so watch. What we want to do, you get to pick out some lines. Now, you have to make sure that you press down on the crayon to make line designs on your castle. Now we're going to paint this next week, so don't color it in. We want it like this. We've got our black outline. We've got, we're going to have our colorful lines, okay? So I'm going to pick out, you can pick out whatever crayon you want to start with. And like I want to do, I'm going to do some horizontal lines on this tower. Now if you want to put something different on yours, please, you do you. This is my castle. This is not your castle. All right. And maybe over in this one, I might want to do polka dotted lines. A dotted line. Let me do my dotted lines. Dotted lines. It does look like polka dots, doesn't it? Let's see. Let's try another color. How about, ooh, I'm going to do zigzags across the front of my castle. Zigzag, zigzag. Now you can make whatever kind of line design that you want because the great thing about art is that in art there's no wrong answer. So I did zigzags there. I need something over here. Let me see. Oh, a green. I already did a green. How about, let's see, what are some other cool lines? Maybe, um, I think I'm going to do it horizontal again. I know, that did not take a whole lot of imagination. I'm going to do some horizontal lines. And let's see, what's another fun one? We'll do some fun ones back here. You pick whatever you want to do. So maybe I'm going to do, um, how about some bunny hop lines? little frown lines. Frown lines. I call them bunny hops because it reminds me of what bunnies do when they jump around. The bunny hop lines. Okay. What other colors do you want to put on yours? You decide. There's no wrong answer. Ooh, I think I might do some spirals up here. You decide what line design you want on your castle. This is our line castle. So you do what you want for what kind of lines you want to go where. I might even put some lines on my, on my roof. That's kind of cool. So you pick out which kind of lines design you want for each part of your castle. Did I color it in? No, I didn't because we're going to paint it next week. So you've got to get your line designs on your castle. So I'm going to leave this poster up so you'll have something to look at. But we want to get this done now. If you're not done, we can finish it next time, and then we're going to paint it, and we might even cut it out. Lord help us all with the scissors, but that's okay, because we are doing all kinds of lines for our line castle, okay? Great job today, and I can't wait to see your fabulous line castles next week. See you later.